Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 2022 Panini Certified Football. Pick your team number 13. Kind of a spooky number on, uh, on, on Halloween. Monday the 31st. Hopefully everyone's having fun and staying safe out there. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We had a filler for the filler and then a team random. So big thanks to everybody there who made that happen. And then thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Kevin with the Bengals. Got the Bengals last spot mojo. They're not looking good tonight. I guess losing Jamar Chase was a bigger bigger deal than I, I may have originally anticipated. I did go Cleveland plus three, though. I didn't think they were going to win. All right. Um, sort of an awkward case here. How am I going to do this? I guess I'll just... Open it from here, which I think everyone can see on this camera. on that stack right here. Four, six, and eight. And the other side only has six. Second half side will be eight right there. Can't have this thermonuclear detonator just rolling around all over the place. It's dangerous. All right. I guess we'll use, use that red die right there. And we'll go one, two, three for this left stack and four, five, six on the right side. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we will save for next time. And we'll put just X's on there so you know they're all from the same case. See X's right there. X's on the boxes right here. And the next half is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. No filler yet. Here. So you see four on the left side, four on the right side to make a total of eight. Eight box, pick your team number 13. Good luck, everybody. We're looking for two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box on average. Now, we did not get a chance to talk about all the games on Sunday. I guess I'll start with my team, the Raiders. Lost the Saints 24 to nothing. They even they even put like Jared Stidham in for like what a quarter, quarter, quarter and a half, something like that. Is how bad it was getting. Nothing was working, and 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 the defense just was just non-existent. Alvin Kamara was just running around all over the place. Like, hey, cover that guy. That guy's pretty good. I think they even lost him in some some at least a handful of plays. They just forgot that he existed. So, it's pretty bad. Um, 
Does McDaniel last the season? Yes. I think so. I mean, I, I, I think... I think you just have to give give him the benefit of the doubt. If he had maybe lost the locker room, I think that might be different. I don't think he's lost the locker room. I think this is a collective failure by everybody. And if you... If you fire McDaniel, who are you going to get? You know, it's not like that a, a change to your interim offensive coordinator is going to do any good. You know, so yeah, no, it's not it's not that. Um it's just the offensive line is bad, the defense isn't good enough. And those are two big issues that everyone, including myself, was clamoring for all offseason long. Fix the offensive line. Just do what you can to improve on the defense. And both of those things, I guess they tried to sign Chandler Jones, but he's been in an empty uniform. I guess they tried to a certain extent, but it just wasn't enough. They just didn't make the moves. The offensive line especially. You know, I mean... There's a Tyron David Price. That's for the Niners. That'll be for Jerry. I mean, guys like Derek Carr. He's okay. He's a, he's a solid QB, but he needs. Here's Ray Guy. Nice autograph. Ten out of sixty. Raider special team's really good though. But like, they got a. That's an issue they did not address. Derek Carr, like most average quarterbacks you know needs a good offensive line to to really be effective you know good offensive line can make him a top 10 quarterback you know but it's not like he can i mean i guess it's for most quarterbacks most most quarterbacks who are doing really well probably have the benefit of a good offensive line but that's something that the raiders did not really adjust to you know i guess there are some who can who can make the most of a bad offensive line, but I mean look at the Eagles offensive line and look at the steps the, the strides that the strides that uh Jalen Hurts has made. There's Garrett Wilson, Jersey and Autograph, freshman fabric, two thirty out of two forty nine. That'll go to Brandon and the Jets. Tristan Ebner to 199. So I don't know what's going to happen. I think Raiders should just be sellers. Try to trade as much as possible before the deadline tomorrow. Get accumulate some draft picks. Grind out the season. You know, go from there. It's another one for the Niners. Yeah, Roquan Smith to the Ravens. That was the big news of the morning. Here's Jamar Chase to 149. Montreal Washington 149. Yeah, Terry, they'll be fine. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to have a winning record. Not close to it. Mike Evans got suspended for fighting with another player. Adams basically committed a crime on an innocent bystander. What's your point, Gilo? This is, Gilo's a Chiefs fan, so obviously he's biased. What happened with... Uh, what happened with Mike Evans... I think, is that uh, that was an on-field incident. Instead of hating on my Raiders. Devontae Adams, I think there's going to be a criminal case. So I think the NFL is waiting for that to happen first. What happened with Mike Evans was not going to be a criminal case. So that's why the NFL exacted punishment. Nuance, Gilo. Subtlety. Nuance. There's a difference. You think Kadarius Tony will do... Well, actually, Gilo's our resident chiefs... Uh, Chiefs reporter, Chiefs insider. What do you think, Chilo? I think that was a great pickup, by the way, by Kansas City. I don't know if he was quite healthy, to be honest with you, and really not terribly favored by by the uh, by the two different Giants coaching staffs. The one that drafted him, and then the, the incoming one. But I think in college, I, I want to say that he was a big playmaker in college. Right, but there was no outside legal incidents right there, Gilo. 
right? It wasn't something that was going to be punishable by your DA. So that's where the NFL steps in. So I think in a case like Devontae Adams pushing that photographer, I think there's going to be – there is charges filed against him. So I think that's a case where, where the NFL waits until that part of it is – it's sorted out, and I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll settle for some undisclosed amount of money, and then I'm sure he'll get suspended by the NFL after that. It's Kieran Williams to 149, and there is Max Crosby taking it to the max, 36 out of 50. You've been doing a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good, but he's not getting any help from anybody else. Like Chandler Jones, then he's going to be double teamed and neutralized like he was in the Saints game. That fits more comfortably in a one eighty top. Didn't get, Raiders give away a bunch of draft picks for it, and I'm sure they did. I mean, that, like, I think that Devontae Adams is not a it's not a bad pick. It's fine. There's Mac Jones, who looked all right in the win. Like, I don't mind that, but... But they just didn't have the offensive line to, to really... to really take advantage of all the new offensive weapons. Five out of 75, mirror signatures, Carmen Curl. Commanders, Jeffrey. What's up, Steve Burge, what sucks? It's for Jeffrey. Tony. Kadarius Tony Gilo has some high hopes for him. Seal of approval. Josh Jacobs is doing well. It's a 149. But even he was neutralized a little bit with the offensive line regressing as it has. Here's a 199, Dallas Goddard. That's for the Eagles, Adam Kupperman. With the fly, Eagles fly, undefeated. They're doing fine. Not too many weaknesses on that Eagles team. There's Micah Parsons to 199. Oh, the guy suspended for... I see what you're saying. The guy suspended for the vacuum. Breaking a vacuum, that sucks. I get it now. I get it now. A little slow. A little slow today. Three color patch and autograph, Ahmad Sauce Gardner, 005 out of 249. That's going to be for Brandon with the Jets. Here is Malik Willis with a W in his first start. He beat the Texans 17 to 10. He didn't have to do much, though, Malik Willis. Went 6 for 10, passing 55 yards, one interception. Uh, ran the ball a handful of times for 12 yards. But when Derrick Henry can carry the ball 32 times and, uh, and rush for 219 yards, the quarterback hasn't, hasn't, doesn't have to do much. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I could have been out there to hand the ball off to Derrick Henry. All right, next box. What are some other uh, What were some other games from yesterday that stood out to you, ladies and gentlemen? Broncos, uh, Broncos came back to be the Jaguars in, in England. 
That Falcons-Panthers game was a lot more competitive than I thought. Falcons uh, beating the Panthers 37-34. DJ Moore getting called for that celebration penalty, which pushed back the, uh, the extra point, which Eddie Pinheiro missed. And he missed another one and missed another field goal in overtime. But that should have been game over. That big game-winning touchdown plus the, to tie the game, the extra point to take the lead. It should have been easy. But, alas, no. Now, this celebration punishment, I think, drives me crazy because how come... I mean, it must be collectively bargained because when, uh, when, a, when the defense gets an interception or picks up a fumble, the whole defense is basically allowed to run to the end zone you know, and mug in front of the camera and all that stuff. What Individual DJ Moore, you know, who's not getting too many TDs in a season. That guy celebrates. And what? They, they, get, they get penalized for it? It's Kenneth Walker, jersey and autographed. Three, 349 out of 349. That's for the Seahawks. That's going to go to Brett. Take it right here, rookie card. Justin Fields to 149. I mean, if they're going to trade away a couple of their best defensive players and not give this guy any weapons, why not just shut him down? <laughs> why not just say, hey, we don't want you to get injured. We're going to shut you down. We're going to tank. We're going to we're going to get use as many picks as possible to help his offensive line. Chris Olave to 249, piece of his jersey for the Saints, Brandon. Why why risk injuring Ju Justin Fields? It's Chris Olave to 149. He took off his side. Yeah, I understand what the penalty is, Steve Birch. <laughs> but defensive players can run half the length of the field and pose in front of the camera and do all that sort of stuff. Guy takes off his helmet because he got, I mean, I don't know. It's Paul Warfield, Hall of Famer, 48, 49 out of 50. Going to the Dolphins, that'll be for Adam and the Dolphins. Oh, he's, he's still up. Oh, no, they blew the whistle. There's Jahan Dotson, new generation relic, 147 to 249. Jeffrey with that one. Yeah, Tyreek Hill throwing peace signs. and I don't know, it just seems a little odd. Cowboys dust of the Bears, 49 to 29. Dolphins beat the Lions 31 to 27. Vikings beat the Cardinals 34 to 26. And here's Christian McCaffrey to 199. Niners cruised against the Rams. Christian McCaffrey had a nice day throwing for a touchdown too. Yeah, Bill was saying earlier just how bad Zach Wilson is. I feel like the Patriots always Kind of has the number of the Jets, though. But, yeah, three interceptions, not good. But Jets are still 5-3. and three. Eagles cruised 35-13. to 13. They've been having some trouble with not winning the second half. It looks like that's something that they address, at least, at least for now. They've usually been not very good in the second half. I mean, did they take the foot off the gas? I don't know what it is, but this time they outscored the Steelers 14 to three in the second half. Yeah, Adam saying maybe that, oh yeah, a little roughing the passer call late in the first half changed that momentum. Nullified pick six, that would have made it 17-3. 
Yeah, maybe if you look under the hood, perhaps it wasn't that bad. Uh, Commanders, edging out the Colt 17 to 16. Yeah, Niners were in control pretty much the entire way, I want to say. Definitely in the second half. Actually, the Rams were up 14 to 10 by the end of the first half. It's one of those rare losses where McVeigh, when McVeigh leads at half, at the half, he has an incredible winning percentage, like 80% or something like that. Maybe more. But not this time. They didn't score another point um, in that second half. That Christian McCaffrey line, one for one in passing, 34 yards and a touchdown, 18 carries for 94 yards and a touchdown, and eight receptions for 55 yards and a touchdown. I mean, what a move by the uh, by the Niners to pick that guy up. There's Tyree Kill, 275, deuces. There's N'Kobe Dean to 399. And we've got a Mark Brunel autograph. Old school Jaguar, yes. 44 out of 45 mirror signatures for the Jags. That's for Jared, Jared O, and the Jaguars. Seahawks beat the Giants 27 to 13. When's the other shoe going to drop for Geno Smith? He's looking pretty good. And Bills uh, were pretty much in control, 27 to 17 over the Packers. Although the Packers, for what it's worth, covered if you had them at plus 10 and a half. Romeo Dobbs to 349. Speaking of the Packers. Adam with Green Bay. I think there might be some, I think it might be some record, right? Where I think it must be, there's Wandale Robinson, 170 out of 149. I don't think Aaron Rodgers, this is what, a four game losing streak for the Packers? Has, it, has that ever happened to him? I don't think that's maybe happened. Maybe not since his rookie year, maybe. All right, Giants. That's going to be for Brandon with the Wandale Robinson. Gilo feels bad for Rodgers? I don't. I mean, he kind of put that team in that situation, right? Wanting, wanting his contract restructured, all that sort of stuff. You know, causing some instability in that in that organization. Although I don't know why Packers don't why they haven't drafted for Aaron Rodgers. That's a what's a weird situation out there. I can't quit put my finger on it. There's a Jared and the Texans. Got the Texans straight up. All right. We are halfway through this break. Got about another 20, 25 minutes to go. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's, there's any other games that kind of jumped out at me, but I think that was it. Am I missing anything? Uh, Adam Kupperman's Jets. Who, who are they facing next? Uh-oh. The Bills. They're hosting the Bills. Oh, and then back to New England. It's a tough stretch for them.
I don't think they're beating the Bills. But, yeah, I was going to say, don't ask who they play next. Uh, at New England, I don't know, at New England's pretty tough. The, the time to beat New England was when they were hosting him. So the Jets are at five wins. So let's say... Let's say they don't beat the. Let's say they don't win the next two games. Although any given Sunday, who knows? Um, Bears at six wins. Man, at Minnesota, then at Buffalo again. Jeez. But then Detroit, that's seven. Jacksonville, that's eight. And then at Seattle, at Miami, Oof. to close the season. It's tough. There's Mac Jones at 349. There's Amir. At this point, I feel like the Raiders should just trade Josh Jacobs tomorrow, get as many picks as possible, just keep working to Amir White. Anyway, and that goes to the Raiders, Jeffrey. I don't mind the loss. Losses happen. As a Raiders fan, you get used to the losses. <laughs> but like how you're losing, that's really the that's really the difficult part. It's like to get shut out by a Saints defense that was given up. That's given up a what almost thirty points a game, and for the Raiders to score zero points when that's supposed to be their strong suit. Well, I'm not quitting. I'm just saying let's let's improve for next season. <laughs> you know, like it just it just doesn't make logical sense just to be stubborn and hold on to assets that you know that could just walk at free agency. There's Matt Corral for the Panthers. That'll be for Adam. Like doesn't make sense. It would it almost be negligence. Twelve out of thirty is Greg Newsom, and with the trade deadline tomorrow, it's flawed with the Browns. Like, you're gonna be buyers or sellers. And I think the worst thing to do is to just kind of sit in the middle and not do anything. Twenty-eight out of fifty. Sky Moore, reach for the sky. That'll be uh, Jared and the Chiefs. There's a snake in my boot. All right, another box. You know who aren't quitters? Like firemen, right? But even they, at some point, will have to say, we're not gonna continue sending, you know, like firemen and women into a building that's no longer safe. Right? That's not quitting. You're protecting your people from dangerous situations. And, you know, for, I mean, for them, it's life and death. Football is just a game, but, but uh, you know, you want to you wanna live to fight another day. Got certified stunners, Jonathan Taylor. To say, perhaps. 
possibly a short print here. This will go to the Colts, Adam, the Colts. It's Matthew Stafford to 199. Got CD Lamb to 149. And Marion Barber. Mirror signatures for the Cowboy. That's going to go to Jared. And Dallas. That's uh, 1999 Prince. Got a strong hit here. Pierre Strong Jr., 134 out of 399. Karen and her Patriots. Ooh, the hit parade sold out. The fillers, too? Don't forget about the fillers, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like people always get excited about break selling out. Possibly might be giving away spots in a different break. Got a dirty bird coming up. It's Desmond Ritter, rookie jersey and autograph. 66 out of 249. Is Desmond Ritter our only QB that is not only rookie QB that has not made a start? Right? Pickett's made starts. Zappy has made starts. Malik Willis got his first start. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone. I don't think Desmond Ritter. That's for Adam and the, and the Falcons. Got Alex Leatherwood, mirror signatures. Uh, 10 out of 10. I feel like... Uh, I feel like they should have just kept Alex Leatherwood. I mean, as bad as their offensive line is, he's still a body. I know that was the pick itself was a reach, but I mean, that's a moot point now. Probably would have been a second or third round pick anyway. And still, still could have been the same situation, but I don't know. It's Trey McBride to 349. The guy in Washington, Sam Howell. Is he still on the team? And I know Matt Corral on the Panthers. I think he's on season-long IR. This is for Adam and the Cardinals. I wonder if he's not healthy because Taylor Heineke got the start. He must be backing up Carson Wentz. Maybe he's on a practice squad. I guess I guess the qualifier is QBs that are still on the active roster. Have they all gotten a start? Except for Desmond Ritter. Although Mariota's been playing some good football lately, so I don't know if that's short of injury. I don't know if that's going to... Mariota, 20, 20 for 28. Former Raiders backup QB, 20 for 28. 253 yards, three touchdowns, a couple interceptions, took a couple sacks. Uh, a lot of Raiders fans were like, yeah, but wish we would have kept Mariota. And it's just like, I don't know. If, I, don't, I, think, I think Mariota, especially with his injury history, would have would have been on the IR by now.
All right, next box. We got John Mechie to three ninety nine. It's for the Texans. That'll be for Jared. Not sure what rich Corinthian leather wood is. Is that a type of leather, perhaps? I don't know my leather. There is uh, mirror signatures. Dan Arnold, four out of thirty-five. That'll be for Jared and the Jags. It's Jamar Chase to two forty-nine. Mark Andrews to two seventy-five. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? There's James Cook, Dalvin's brother, to 275. Vellis Jones Jr., 29 out of 249, piece of his jersey. Going to the Bears, that'll be for Adam. It was an attempted deep callback to what? Ricardo Montalban commercials for cars with rich Corinthian leather? That's a deep cut, Mike Tower. I mean, was that a national commercial? I mean, if it's a local commercial, then you're really digging deep on, on this program, which is more of a national show. <laughs> Plenty of our Joshua Dobbs in the year that he was drafted. Well, we can dig up some of the, some of the old product and find someone there, but I don't know if the you know if the demand for our Joshua Dobbs is as big in twenty twenty two products. Oh, well, not well known enough, Mike. Good try though. All right. No guesses on the redemption? Oh, Terry's guessing Drake London. If it's a Drake London, guess window is closed. But if it's Drake London, I'll give you $5 of break credit. No, not. It's Jameson Williams. Freshman fabric mirror signatures pink. That's for Detroit. That's going to go to Brandon. Fumbling the post it note. All right, final box. Good luck. I sure did, Mike. I got myself five Powerball tickets. Quick pick. Um, they're announcing winners. When are they announcing winners? Soon? I usually check the next morning. Because if I win, I mean, I wouldn't be able to sleep. And I like sleep, so I might have some of that. Right, right. There'll be no, there'll there'll be no uh, 
There'll be no animals next to uh, that lottery ticket, that's for sure. There's DJ Moore. 20 out of 35. I mean, yeah, Steve Birch was, uh, is earlier right. It's a silly rule, but the rules are the rules. DJ Moore and his buddy Eddie uh, Pinheiro. Adam and the, uh, and the Panthers. Whatever happened to Tattoo? Jonathan's asking. I'm not sure what that means. Devontae Adams to 75. And there is to 25, seal of approval. That is uh, Tyreek Hill. Herve via Chinese? I, I have no idea who that person is. There's nine out of 15, Sam Williams. It was Jared with the Cowboys. Oh, he was on Fantasy Island with Ricardo Motolaban. There's Micah Hyde, certified gamers rally to 199. There's Fouad and the Bills. Buffalo! It's Kyle Pitts to 275. To 249, AJ Brown. And there's Jahan Dotson, freshman fabric, three color patch, an autograph, 101 out of 199. And that'll be for Jeffrey and the Commanders. There's Danny Gray to 325. Oh, I remember that. I remember the man with the golden gun. Uh, that was uh, that was with the guy in the dead zone. All right, here's, the, uh, here's your recap, ladies and gentlemen. Second half in the store, so check it out. Pick your teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And no filler yet on the other side, so grab your teams before they disappear. And again, that was uh, Pick Your Team 13, Certified Football. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.